welcome back to my vlog channel. So today I am doing something that is really out of my comfort zone, something that I, well, usually wouldn't do. So a few months before I moved to Japan, I was trying to find dog accounts or accounts in Japan that shared cafes and places where you can take your dogs because obviously we were planning to move to Japan and we were going to bring Hina with us. So I followed a few accounts and then they ended up following Hina back because I used Hina's Instagram account. And yeah, we would like, you know, message each other sometimes or post comments, stuff like that. So a few weeks ago, one of the accounts mentioned that there's going to be a dog tea party and it's going to be like a meetup for people that have dogs in Tokyo. So at that time I was like, you know what? I feel like I need to go to this because I mentioned before coming to Japan this time around I wanted to do things differently and I wanted to have more opportunities to speak Japanese. I love dogs, they love dogs, they want their dogs to make friends, I want Hina to make friends. So this seems like the perfect situation. Whenever you're going abroad, it doesn't matter what country, as an adult, it's really difficult to make friends. If you're going over as an exchange student, I feel like it's much easier to make friends with classmates. But if you're an adult and you're working, yeah, you have to kind of go out of your way to meet people or attend events. I am just going to get Hina ready for the event. So, because it's a doggy event, I want her to rep Cafe Sheep. I I really wanted to set up Cafe Sheep before, well, originally I was hoping to open up in October, but uh, yeah, we didn't end up moving until much later. I really want to open Cafe Sheep again, it's just... I've just been so busy. I haven't had time. Hina has a lot of choices on what she can wear, but I thought that this one would be perfect. It's a sakura print and also comes with a handmade flower that I made myself. So with all of Cafe Sheep's dog bows, they have elastic at the back. So you can just slot in any dog collar like so. And then you just put this on your dog. upside down. Look at her face. I'm so sorry. You look amazing. Look at you and your little bow. We're gonna take the taxi to the event because I feel like if I take the train it might be too much for you so let's take the taxi today. Yeah, you're gonna be a good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Say that. Good girl. I have made it back home. I'm exhausted. Hina is also <laughs> exhausted. She was just passed out on the couch earlier. It was so much fun though. I met a lot of people and I just feel like, well, for me anyway, I get along with people that also like dogs. So that's why I decided to go to this event. So I managed to meet some new friends and yeah, hopefully we'll be hanging out soon. We're gonna go out to cafes and restaurants together. I, yeah, actually the past couple of weeks, I've been meeting a lot of new friends and yeah, I'm just excited to hang out with all of them and yeah, just explore Tokyo together. So so Hina of course enjoyed herself. She was the biggest dog there which I expected because the organizer of the event did tell me but I always knew that Hina is very sociable with big dogs and small dogs. She stayed at a dog hotel just last week 
and every day they were uploading videos of Hina playing with small dogs so I knew that she would be okay so yeah she played with every single dog and yeah everyone was just very lovely just before we left the event we got a goodie bag so let me show you guys what we got we are oh, I already opened this up this is smart bones it's just like a chew bone for their teeth so I gave Hina one but I think she's too tired so she didn't eat it. Bow Dent Dental Treats, some poop bags and apparently these don't smell so or it covers the dog poop smell which is going to be really handy to use especially in Japan because I don't know if you guys know in Japan but pretty much if your dog poops you have to well obviously pick up the poo but there's no bins for it so you have to take it home and when the poop smells it's pretty bad so I've been buying good quality poop bags because well luckily when I walk her I just walk her around my area and she poops around here but whenever I go out like today yeah she did a massive poop um, just at the Megaro River I picked it up it stank so I was you know trying to cover up the poop smell by putting it into one of these bags and it worked and then finally we got some dog treats from Hitawan who was also at the event so these are the ones that we got those are all the products that we got in the bag you know it's just passed out right now oh she had so much fun I'm so glad I found out about this event because in Sydney I do attend a lot of dog events if I find an event I would try my best to bring Hina along just so I don't know I just want her to socialize have fun experience a lot of new things yeah oh my hand your face I'm so sorry let me just move it over this way is that better yeah so when I moved to Japan I was saying to myself like I wish there were dog events so Hina can meet other dogs because I find that well when I walk Hina in Japan especially I mean yeah she does play with some dogs but there are a lot of dogs that aren't friendly and just want to attack every single time they see another dog so I wanted Hina to meet friendly dogs that love playing so she can also have fun um but anyway guys I'm gonna feed Hina and I think I'm gonna order Uber Eats for dinner because I'm tired um, and I have to go out later tonight because one of my friends is arriving in Japan for only a day and she wants to go karaoke tonight so I'm gonna rest up yes okay do you want some food yeah I'll give you some food I am so cold right now but I made it to Shinagawa and I'm just going to go to my friend's hotel so I didn't end up getting Uber Eats because I wasn't hungry but now I am and I'm gonna just find like a combini I think this looks interesting white chewy taiyaki Kaya toast. Pistachio cookies. We have made it back home. It's 3 a.m. My <laughs> eyes are all, all smudged. Yeah, I don't stay out late anymore guys. Like, usually when it's 10 p.m. I'm like I'm tapping out I need to go home but um, today we met up with a friend who we haven't seen for two and a half to three years so yeah just decided to go out to have some fun um, but I'm gonna <laughs> yeah I really need to end the vlog and take my makeup off this is so bad and sleep so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys!
we have made it back home and oh, we got a lot of stuff so I'm going to show you guys everything that we got so we went to Tokyo Station and I well originally wanted to try this ramen place because well I walked past it a couple of times there's always a long line but I thought you know what it should be shorter today for some reason I thought it would be shorter but no it was super long we went to Kandu first which is a 100 yen store so let me show you guys what I got there we got some plastic hangers for our washing which we hang outside we got some bin bags this is for Hina's pea tray then I got some hooks to put into my closet a box of black thunder chocolate so Eric saw this when we were in the store and he's never tried it before and it's actually really good so I said we should get a box for our house then we went to the supermarket to get Mainly Hina some food, but then also some essentials for us. We got some oil, salt, pepper, chili flakes, sesame oil, some fruit for Hina, asparagus, eggs, broccoli, carrots, capsicum, pumpkin, and bananas. Coffee for me. And then I got a whole bag of meats, which I won't show you guys because a lot of them are like organs, so I don't want to like gross you guys out. <laughs> having such a lazy day today it's just been raining non-stop so I decided to order some uber eats for dinner got yakitori mm -hmm. 